because yeah finally i had to leave home cairo <laughs> hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is your girl chocolate puma and thank you for keeping up with my crazy stories this is a story time about how i got so sick i could not make the difference between positive and negative yeah so this was back in 2012 i was writing my advanced level and within this time i was already sick and yeah we had been to the hospitals we had even tried traditional medicines but I'll get better and then I'll get sick again. I'll get better and then I get sick. So it was on and off, on and off. And after the advanced level, I was just waiting for the results, excited to leave home. I was about, you know, freedom finally. I was about going to a different city, you know. And when the results came out, thank God I made it. But once the results came out, I was still back in bed with being sick. And so I could not make it to some of the universities on time for the registrations and all of the University of Chang was left. And yeah, it didn't matter what city, all I wanted to do was leave home and freedom for me finally. And so I decided to move to Chang. I got to Chang on a Sunday, did my registrations and all. Some of my friends helped me in searching for a house and I spent like a week so I got back to my city on a Friday with the intentions of getting my bed and my clothes my like my rent and then go back to Chang on Sunday but unfortunately for me when I got back to my home I was more sick than before I guess God had different plans for me and within this time in my home we have this tradition where we have to pray before going to bed it didn't matter if you wanted to sleep or not 9 p.m was prayer time and this prayer was like everyone had to pray it's not like on the same day but each person had their day of prayer so it was a rotating something but yeah <laughs> I wouldn't say I didn't like to pray or so I would say I was not just inspired every time when it was my turn because you know you had to ask God for something different and some days I just wanted to sing or just say heavenly father thank you but that wouldn't be enough in the eyes of my mom so what i'll do is i'll just go to bed at 8 or 8 pm and no matter how much you try waking me up i wasn't gonna wake up for prayers and so you know everyone thought i was running away from prayers i was a devil and all but the way i was sick i thought my end was approaching i thought i was coming to my end so we have this family friend of us who's a priest and he always come around home he, he's so fun so he'll come and then make jokes and all so this sunday he was home and i was dying in the bedroom so when i heard him talking i left the bedroom and i went to the living room and i was like bro please pray for me my mom and her drama just started crying like how can I possibly ask for prayers? Me who's always running away from prayers, like I'm about to die. If I'm asking someone to pray for me, if I'm ready for prayers, then I'm about to die. <laughs> and she started crying. He tried calming her down, then he prayed for me. So the next day, we tried a different hospital, and this time a private hospital. So when we got to the hospital, I had to do a bunch of tests written by the doctor. And one of these was HIV AIDS. And the thing with this hospital is before doing this HIV uh, test, you have to go for counseling. Like you'll be sent to a room where you'll be counseled an hour before you go to the lab. So I was sent to the 18 where I had to be counseled. And yeah, after that, I moved to the lab. And when the results came out, I got my book. So when I opened the book, cause all I wanted to see was this results because the neighbors were already gossiping about me having HIV. I've been sick for so long. I lost every little weight I had. And so when I rushed the book, it was negative. But the lab technician was asking me to go back to the 18 and the 18 is where you're cancelled. Like, how can I be cancelled before and after this result? And my result says it's negative so why am i being sent back to this room and so i got confused like okay if it's negative and i'm asked to go back to this room does that mean i'm sick 
and my mom is there she wants my book but i'm not giving her because i don't know what's happening why are they sending us back to this room and she's asking herself that same question and so she wants my book so she's like can i please have the book i'm like no you know what i need to pee trust me i didn't want to pee i just wanted to call my elder sister to confirm what negative meant <laughs> so i rushed to the bathroom and i call my sister and i'm like please when something is negative what does it mean she's like uh what's happening answer the question when something is negative what does it mean she's like okay it means you don't have that thing uh, because she knew we had gone to the hospital so she said, it, it means you don't have it it means that thing doesn't exist i'm like are you sure she's yeah but what's happening i'm still not saying so i moved to room 18 where we have this bunch of people screaming this hospital is fake i'm not sick you know so i'm panicking because people are screaming and i'm mixed with them mine says negative but i'm sent back here and people are there screaming they are not sick why are they sent back here you know my temperature is rising my blood pressure is rising but i just had to win and then thank god when i got in the mouth i was like okay you don't have hiv eight why was i sent here in the first place this just made me more sicker than i was ever before like it was not a fun experience why ask someone to go for counseling before and after this sickness that everybody thinks it's something that is you know if you have it then you should be banished from the world at the end of the day i had just typhoid that made me lost my freedom because i could not go to chang anymore i could not leave my city because i was so sick during this period guess god had different plans for me and yeah it was just crazy 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 with the neighbors gossiping and the doctors asking me to go for counseling before and after the test results you know it was a crazy experience thank you so much for watching and if you are a returning subscriber thank you for the love thank you for the sharing because i hope you're actually sharing i hope you're liking and commenting and if it's your first time on this video please don't forget to subscribe like leave a comment and share with your friends see you next time Bye bye